I think I know the kind of guy you are, and I'm, I'm gonna guess. So I'm gonna give you two things, and you can tell me this one or that one, this one or that one, okay? So, <laughs> Picasso or Dolly? Picasso. Ford or Chevy? Chevy. Mm, see, I thought Ford, but okay, if I had, I had, I had Picasso down. Uh, Beatles or the Stones? Stones. Me too. See, yeah. I knew this. See, John, I knew this one. I, I once did an introduction in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think it was for the Love and Spoonful. And Paul McCartney was sitting out here, and I had to say, I'm sorry, Paul, but these guys were writing about hot down summer in the city, back of my neck getting dirty gritty, and you were writing about, I want to hold your hand. Really? <laughs> that was in my speech. When we come back, I'm going to play a soulful tune with Mr. Mellencamp. Check it out. Hey, welcome back. Rock and Roll Road Trip with Mr. John Mellencamp. And John chose this song to play, and we don't even know who wrote it, I guess, huh? It's an old traditional song, and uh, I'll do a verse or two, and then you'll do a verse or two, and then uh, we'll see if people like it. We've not, we've not rehearsed this either, because we don't believe in rehearsals. Rehearses work. Rehearsals are for suckers. Gambled all around. Delia was a gambling girl. She liked to lay her money down. All the friends I ever had are gone. Delia's dear mother took a trip out west. When she returned. Little Delia had gone to rest All the friends I ever had gone Delia's daddy weeped His mama moaned Wouldn't have been so bad If the girl had died at home All the friends I ever had are gone Cut is looking high, mm -hmm. cut is looking low, cut is shot, pull dearly down, with his crew, 44.
friends ever had it gone. Let's do the last verse together. Dear, oh dear, how, how can, can it, it be? You wanted all those rounders, but you never did me. All the friends I ever had it gone. Get it to truth. John, thank, thank you. you. Soulful son of a gun, you. Whew. That's a trip. That looks so old Dutch or something. That just, that's got That's my son, Hud. That's got a... My, I have one son, Sammy, that was national Golden Gloves champ three years ago. Really? I used to box. You used to box? Yeah. I'm, I'm slow as shit now. <laughs> God, look at all this, John. You, you have been painting every day, haven't you? Oh, this is, I've already sold or given away everything. You know, oh, that's badass. It's, you know, that it's that Lieber thing with me. It's like, you, don't give me a choice. Say, yeah, I don't want any choice. All right, man. That's what we have in, con we have man, that in common. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I think I'll leave that one out, too. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. No, I, I'm, I'm cool. I, let's narrow it down. I like that guy a lot. Okay, well, let me tell you about that guy. Okay. That is a friend of mine named Trevor Golf. He's, he's, like he's like my gay best friend. His dad wrote Charlie's Angels. Uh, he wrote all Humphrey Bogart's movies. And uh, Trevor, he's never worked a day in his life. This guy right here? This guy right there. Never worked a fucking day in his life. Now, me and him have been friends since 1974. And I, he, he'll call me and go, what are you doing, puppet? <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> You kind of ruined the painting now. What? You know that, John. <laughs> what? Trevor, what are you doing, puppet? <laughs> so, it was, but it's funny. He's so funny. It, it is, but because he looks so, he looks like a hard-working man. No, he's not. He hasn't fucking looked at a finger his whole life. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm thinking, if you're cool with that, I, I, I like that painting. I really do. Yeah, Puppet works. It would work in a restaurant. It's got a vibe, man. Trev. And he would like it. He would like to know that he was hanging in one of your restaurants. Yeah. He would be honored. When we come back, we'll check out my restaurant, El Paseo, where John's painting found a home. back at my restaurant, El Paseo, and I'm gonna show you around. Woo, here we are. It's a long way from Bloomington, Indiana to San Francisco, California, a little town outside of San Francisco called Mill Valley, California, where I have a restaurant called El Paseo. Trying to find a home for the Mellencamp painting was crazy because uh, it's big and it's weird, but it's cool. So I thought, well, I'll put the damn painting in my restaurant where I can see it whenever I want. So it's over here. You guys want to take a glimpse? Shall we reveal it? Boom! Puppet. So I'm having a plaque made that says that this was given to me by John Mellencamp for my contributions to Farm Aid. You know, it's really cool because one of the great things that this rock and roll road trip has brought into my life is that I've met people that I really didn't know and I got to spend a whole day with them and talking about things and deep and playing a song with them. And Mellencamp is a prime example of someone that I've never got to know. I've met him a few times here and there. We came up through the same times. We're, we're really cut from the same mold. And he's, uh, he's become my friend. It's like, it, it's, I, it's one of my, um, favorite things that has happened since I started Rock and Roll Road Trip is Mellencamp. John has texted me some of the coolest things and caused me to write a song. I sent it to him and he said, keep swinging buddy. He calls me young man. I'm older than him. Don't let him get away with that. But when I bought this painting from him, I'm saying, I'm going to put it up in my restaurant or my house or something. He's going, yeah, he's giving me that look. Kind of like he's not really believing me. Like he's thinking I'm just trying to pull a gimmick. So I framed it. And I put it up, I took a picture, sent it to him, and he said, a man's word is his bond. 
think Farm Aid thanks you, and I thank you, young man, keep slugging, right? Or something like that. And I could tell that he really was touched the fact that I put it up. And uh, he, he just, I feel close to the guy. And thanks to Rock and Roll Road Trip.